many chickens tortured today? KFC, what do you say? I'm sure you know that people often ask, what are those PETA people thinking? In these few minutes, I would like to give you an insider's view of exactly what PETA people are thinking. The eight secrets of how PETA works. First, T.S. Eliot. Writing about Prince Hamlet, he said what is important is to swell a progress, start a scene or two. And our first secret at PETA is that we set out every single day to start a scene or two. Our job is to keep the plight of animals and the alternatives to their use and abuse firmly in the public mind. These days, if your issue isn't on TV, it doesn't exist. We heard about Barbaro and we saw his injuries and we, we heard about his tragic story because he was a winner. But anywhere from 700 to 1,000 racing horses are euthanized every year due to these kinds of injuries. And in this highly competitive day and age, we must be very creative or animal issues will be drowned out. Honey, we need to talk. About sex. Yeah, we think you should be having it, sweetie. A lot of it. Get out there and nail everything you can. If it's got a pulse, you should be wrapped around it. What if I get pregnant? So oh. what? The whole point of the ad is to point out the absurdity uh, of this sort of attitude towards sex and pregnancy, which applies for humans and it applies for animals as well. I'm really glad we had this little talk. And the media is like your cat. You can talk sensibly to your cat all day long, and he or she will just fall asleep. But if you wiggle your little finger under the door, even though the cat knows it's just your finger, he can't resist coming over to take a look. Hi, this is Frau Blucher for PETA. Being a vegetarian has done some amazing things for my game, both on and off the court. Turkeys like to have their feathers stroked. So there is a method behind what some people think of as the PETA madness. Please welcome president and co-founder of the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Ingrid Newkirk. When we saw that a property in Los Angeles on the hill next to the Hollywood sign was up for sale, we offered to rent it if we could put up Go Veg next to the Hollywood sign. And the press went nuts. Now, we know that none of these gimmicks alone will ever change the whole world. But if you try never to miss an opportunity, no matter how big or how small, the combined effect will change the world. We look to the day when all our work will have paid off and children will look up at their parents and say, was there really a time when people kept animals as slaves? That is Peter's goal, and we will reach it. Our second secret at Peter is that we live by Dale Carnegie's adage. There are no problems, just projects, and that's how we see things too. One project we tackle every day is how to get people to think about where those steaks and nuggets come from and how to get those people to go vegetarian. PETA has a different beef with steakhouses across the country. Today, the animal rights group is offering a million bucks to the first person who can grow meat in a laboratory. No one could believe that PETA was actually going to pay someone to produce meat. All right, let's work with science to allow you to have the taste of flesh without any of the rotten consequences to you, the earth, the animals. Just imagine a world in which no chickens ever have their beaks seared off with a hot wire or are ever slammed against the cage bars, where no fishes ever struggle with hooks through their sensitive mouths, and no pig snouts are ever broken with baseball bats as they are loaded onto the truck. When the lab meat story broke, we were on every talk show from Houston to Miami, from London to Singapore, from Science Friday to Good Morning America. They all covered it. And that allowed us to do something vital, to paint a picture of exactly how animals suffer for the table. Our third secret is that we live by Dusty Springfield's words about wishing and hoping and thinking and praying won't get you into his heart. 
Americans love football, but they love dogs more. The fact that he electrocuted these dogs, that he beat them to death, that he shot them, clearly nobody's explained to this guy what is and isn't appropriate behavior, and that animals are living creatures like you and me who can feel pain and suffer, uh, and that's what this course was designed to do. Sticks and stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. Our fourth secret is that we're not afraid to be attacked. In this quiet place, where Christ's servants meditate, we found the peace-loving monks operating a factory farm. In their egg-laying cages, the chickens went from shell to hell. They were crammed together so tightly that they had to stand on top of each other on the wire for the 18 long months of their lives, and many die there. Our investigator videotaped birds with broken legs, in pain, lying where they had been thrown onto the barn floor, while the brothers at the abbey ignored them, even when our investigator asked that these poor birds at least be put out of their misery. When we went public with that footage, the monks fought back hard, but we fought back harder. And when the smoke cleared, the monastery had made the decision to shut down their factory farm. Our fifth secret strategy comes from Napoleon, who really knew how to fight a war. He said, if you're going to take Vienna, take Vienna. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Columbia University tortures animals. What you're supporting in the vivisection laboratories is not okay. This PETA undercover footage, taken in Japan's largest horse slaughterhouse in January 2009, shows you what Ferdinand's last terrifying minutes would have looked like. If polite letters and phone calls don't convince major designers and retailers to go fur-free, our campaigners use a take-no-prisoners approach. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. I used to wear real fur, but like many others, I had a change of heart when I learned what actually happens to the animals. We made the Kraft chain AC Moore, direct by Blue B, Nike, Cole Haan, Burton Snowboard, Swatch, and Bebe, and even Juicy Couture, all go fur free. Hello, excuse me. I think that's mine. Yeah, that belongs to me. Hey, I paid a lot for this. Well, actually, I paid a lot more. You, what the, hey, wait a minute. That fur is mine. It's mine, it's mine, oh. give me my coat. It's, it's my what coat, oh, it's, give me my coat, give me my coat. Our sixth secret rule is stick up for the underdog. There are a lot of underdogs out there. We meet many chained up by people without a heart or a thought for them, no matter how cold it gets. Last winter, we delivered hundreds of dog houses and thousands of bales of straw for them. And we have a carpenter hard at work every winter preparing houses. If you are a pet lover, you may have wondered where your hamsters, rabbits, or other small fuzzy friends come from. Well, the group known as PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, decided to investigate. PETA says that last fall it sent an undercover investigator into this facility, a major supplier of small animals to PetSmart. We also stick up for other underbeings, even the least popular, like the little mice, who are small, sensitive mammals who feel as much as any other being. Some appear to be left for dead. Others, sick or injured, seemingly in need of medical care. And live animals thrown into the trash. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Dan Matthews, and I'm with PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. We'd rather go naked than wear fur. Sex sells. Like it or not, it does. So for the animal's sake, we're saucy and we're provocative, and it works. Our wonderful scientific team has had a hard road to hoe, convincing the government not to use rodents in experiments in which they are force-fed chemicals until they convulse and die. Rats are lousy models, and besides, they don't deserve such abuse. Now, when we appeal to the government to switch to available non-animal research methods, 
we were met with unanswered letters. But then Pam Anderson agreed to go knock, knock, knocking on Capitol Hill's door in her short shorts, and in we went. And we are now working with officials at the Department of Health and Human Service. So if anyone tells you that Peter shouldn't use sex, ask them what the rats would think. One day, poof, you're gone. Make your life count. Do charitable deeds as if life is finite, because it is. To stand up for animals' rights. Hi, I'm B. Arthur with a message for women who take Premarin. Don't. It's made of horse urine. The animals need us to be risk takers. We do it naughtily and we do it nicely. But whatever we do, we knock ourselves out for animal rights, and we will continue to do that with our supporters' help. Thanks for being with us in pursuing our goal.